Could you change your work group from drones like this into an energetic team with this level of enthusiasm? <laughs> Do they leap into cooperation like this? Let's build a sand castle! They will at team provising as we teach the five C's of team building. Number one, communication. Now say something that he's not going to be so crazy about, though. Isabana. <gasps> Isabanos. <laughs> Number two, community. Number three, creativity. And never here to really tell me what's got, what's going on. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Number four, commitment. Okay, think of someone in the room. That person is A. Think of a different person in the room now. That person is B. A is trying to kill B. And you can protect your friend B by standing between the two of them at all times. Yes, Go! Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> And number five, cooperation. The five C's of team building underscore everything that happens in a team provising workshop. The improv exercises are designed to give individuals a safe environment to take risks. Most of us know that if we don't fail sometimes, we're not trying hard enough. But some people have a hard time taking risks around peers. And that's why we introduce failure games. Go to there. And we're going to play a few games called failure games. And they're called that because you're probably going to fail. Everyone okay with that? Yeah. Oh. In this game, After you have to say something that. other than what you're doing. And then the other person does the action you just said. It's a mind bender. I'm brushing my hair. Ask. What are you doing? Uh, I'm hunting for Grenion. <laughs> <laughs> Ask, quick. What are you doing? I'm getting ready to go to work. <laughs> Ask. What are you doing? I'm, uh, uh... It's taking too long. Good job, Ross. Give a hand. Who's up next? Eventually, your brain has to fry. You can't win. So when winning is taken out of the equation, we free up to participate more fully with each other. Foo! Now we're going to break the ball in two. So there's two going around at once. Yeah, you'll have to pay attention a little more. Ready? The game Soundball teaches us a few things. It's about reacting in the moment without preparation and about how well we can work together and pay attention. All you have to do here is make a sound, but it's amazing how bright adults can get stuck when they're trying too hard to get it right. <laughs> All of your answers are right. There's no wrong answer. Perfect. Can you function under the times when there isn't time to think ahead? And with this game, you actually were. Even with three, you guys were in pause, and you actually picked up speed, I think, when we had more because you weren't working so hard. And that's a, that's a real pleasure. Now if you could take that skill and apply it back when there was only one, you guys would have that one flying around the circle. In the ball toss game, we establish a simple pattern that everyone can handle while the workload is low. But... So now the work is going fine. It's time to add a little more work on the table. You might have, sometimes you'll end up with two assignments in your lab. We just learned that if you try and make it too fancy, maybe you'll mess everyone over. Sometimes people just want you to do your part, right? So a minute ago, you guys didn't think you could handle two, and now you've got five successful. You've established some patterns that work for y'all. They'll have their failures. <laughs> <laughs> One of those they yeah. throw. But as they work out the patterns, the success is sweet. Oh, now you got it going again. Good. Whoop, almost. I didn't think we learned so much just playing games. But it's not just games. There's some real experiential learning in team provising. For some, the eye contact exercise is a real eye opener. It goes both ways with that. Either it's, why can't I get them to look at me? Or, I can stare you down if I want to. Oh, look at you, look at you trembling. Speaking in one voice is a great group dynamic game. What is your 
sign. <laughs> My sign is Libra. <laughs> Asking you ladies for a second, notice a leader in this group for him. <laughs> okay, and it's necessary to some degree to lead, no question, but there's also a give and take lead. Maybe you could start it off and then let somebody else continue it. Working in pairs, can they cooperate to tell how to make a tuna sandwich in unison? Get a noticed how much I get suppressed and I get stopped because I'm afraid of failing like it. Oh, <laughs> just you know we're all gonna fail and just get over it and you know so not so tense. Good! For a uh, sandwich! Great job! <laughs> One last game for now. Our gibberish games take the spoken word out of the communication equation. Instantly, the importance of vocal tone, expressions, volume, and body language become clear. Here, Matt wants to marry Jim's daughter. Make, make a test for him that he has to pass. In closing, up to 85% of success in business is getting along with other people. Team provising helps us to view our coworkers and clients as human. And more than other team builders, it also gives us tools we can use at work and in life. And as Joyce said after class, Being with these folks who I don't normally see in this environment where we're kind of joking around and stuff, I mean, it really, I think it's going to loosen things up. To learn more about team provising, check our website or call today.